Okay, I'm gonna um, quickly walk you through some ways to visualize your data. There's a bunch of packages that you have to load for it. Um, I'm gonna, that's gonna be all on the website or YouTube channel. I'm gonna upload the code for that. One thing to mention is for some reason, for me, the TT effects um, package, I have to download or like to load manually. Um, so I have to check this little box. So when you go to packages, um, you can look for different packages. So for example, TT plot, and then you can um, check which one you wanna, um, you wanna load for this project. Um, okay, so just to give you some background, um, I'm gonna walk you through how to visualize um, a multi-level model. And I used some, I used a subset of data that was collected by Jay and colleagues. It's an international data set. Um, and what I wanted to look at, at is whether collective narcissism is predicting conspiracy theory beliefs across various countries. So first I just ran the um, mixed model and I kind of, I specified here and that's gonna be in the code too. So you can kind of like follow what exactly we did with the model, how we, um, how we modeled it, but um, just for the sake of time, you know, I quickly run it. And then what I wanna do now is I wanna look at how are the regression lines for each individual country. So like I know here in my output, okay, so it looks like a collective narcissism is predicting um, conspiracy theory beliefs here, the fixed effect, um, for example, significant, but I wanna see how does it look individual for each country. And one nice thing to do is to use um, a plotting function from sgplot. And one thing to note is um, for some visualization, especially if you have um, a lot of groups, um, you need to expand your palette. And I'm, it, it's gonna make more sense um, in a bit, so just stay with me. So um, I have to expand my palette so that I can choose for the visualization from more, um, for more colors. And this code is basically doing, doing the magic. Um, and when you run it, you get this plot. So when you zoom in, you see here now, um, we had several countries. And for each country now you can see the individual um, regression line. So for example, for Argentina here, you can see Argentina's like this color. So here you can see the regression line for um, the relationship between national narcissism and believe in COVID-19 conspiracy theories. So it's kind of nice to see like whether the effect is like pretty conform um, across countries or whether there are deviations. Like here, for example, you see one country is um, react or is behaving very differently. It's like the effect is the opposite. So it's kind of nice to, um, to visualize and see what's going on. And if you wanna customize it, um, there's obviously a way where you can have a pre-coded uh, um, theme that Diego just um, told us about. But if you, are, if you don't have it, there are preloaded themes that you can basically just draw from that um, help you, that it's basically giving you like a, um, like a visualize, uh, ah, like a theme of like how it's gonna like default visualize it. And then you can adjust certain things. So like, for example, let's say we wanna get rid of these, of this, um, um, like of this grid. So then you can go to, uh, where is it? Um, yeah, you go to this background color white, for example, and then, um, when you run all of that, you have like a new plot that is kind of like um, customizing like what you wanna do. So when you see it here, like I, um, I told um, R to adjust like the minimum and maximum of the X axis. I adjusted here the 
the um, size of the labels. So you can do all sorts of things and that's basically just something you can look up and I added a link to the script here too, where I find there's a website that is like making it very easy and explaining it. And let's say you wanna have this like very classic output table to just copy paste into your um, manuscript. So one nice thing to do is there's again a function for it. So I basically, I ran a robustness model for my, for my study where I wanted to adjust for several variables. So I added them into the model and the model looked like something like that. So I had like additional fixed effects here. It's like, that's very technical. It's not necessarily um, important for that. But a nice thing is like, let's put that all in like an APA um, formatted table. And instead of using Excel and kind of like um, formatting all your formatting um, it all yourself, you can just use um, the sgplot um, tab model function and it automatically solves the file in a Word document. So I ran this and then there's a Word document now that is like creating this beautiful output. Um, so you don't have to do that much work. And one thing to note is when you, here you can um, individualize how you wanna label your, um, basically your predictors here. So like I wanted to label, for example, the third predictor as individual narcissism. So I added it here. Um, so you can basically play around like however you want to customize the table. And that's pretty much it. I can quickly check whether, because my R crashed, whether um, everything works for um, plotting a simple regression plot if there's time. So I loaded my data and then there's a um, GT plot function function for it and again it's like we I, I kind of like customized it and I can quickly go through it too um, what you can see here is the code that we ran is basically giving you this regression line and the confidence interval here is highlighted in gray and then these little dots are um, actual data points and what is nice is with the chitter function that is added here, there's a line um, called chitter function. It's basically it like chitters each individual data point a little bit around because oftentimes participants have kind of the same values and then you just can't see a lot of data points because they're like identical. So it like kind of like add some noise to it um, so that you can see more data points. And then oftentimes too is that if you have a lot of data points, it looks like you can't almost see the regression line anymore because there are so many. So one thing to get rid of it is to adjust the transparency of the, of the data points. And you can do that here. Um, the, the command is alpha and then you can just basically, you can um, adjust of how transparent they are by like, just like customize that. So um, now, as you can see, I adjusted the transparency to 0.6. And when you look at it now, uh, with a zoom, yeah, it's like less transparent. And what you can see here, right? Like there are so many data points, it's almost like hard to see the regression line. So that's why it's nice to add some transparency. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it there are a lot of like ways to individualize your plot um but i'm not gonna go through it that's like something basically to google